What is going on? What's going down? Welcome back to Snackcast. Yeah, man. We, uh, what you got going on this weekend? Not a whole lot. No? No. I just watch some foosball. I'm headed down to Fort Myers. Nice. Going to play around the golf with my boy. Yeah. Looking forward to it. Very cool. Um, have dinner with the battle axe. I'm sorry, my beautiful wife. <laughs> get some vitamin um, D. Get some vitamin D. That's yeah, right. Nice. So we are on the, we actually finished up the vitamin segment. We're moving into the minerals and just a quick <clears throat> vitamins are in large part organic and carbon based mm-hmm. minerals are actually found on the periodic table that's the main difference yep right so the first one we're going to cover is calcium and frankly this one kind of blew my mind um if you've watched any of our stuff you know that we are somewhat hesitant to fully trust um the medical establishment um and this turns out it's one of those areas that I think they've gotten it wrong. Um, uh, do tell. Do tell. So, well, first, let's cover what calcium is, right? It's a mineral. Um, it is the most abundant mineral in the human body. Okay. Um, Everything is fortified with calcium. Well, <laughs> and that being said, um, 99% of the calcium is found in our bones and our teeth. Okay. It would make sense, right? We've been told that mm-hmm. for a long time. So what functions does calcium serve? Um, like we just said, the mineralization of bones and teeth. Um, it assists in nerve function, blood pressure regulation, muscle movement, blood clotting, and overall immune system health. Okay. Right. Um, We can't make it. Um, The human body is incapable of manufacturing minerals. You know, some of the vitamins it can, sun, vitamin D. Mm -hmm. Um, But we cannot synthesize minerals. So we we have to get it somewhere. You have problems if you don't get it somewhere, right? Correct. And some of the deficiency, uh, insomnia. Specifically, insomnia, like you wake up early, from what I gathered. Uh, Muscle cramping, uh, brittle nails, tooth decay, uh, red and yellow spots, bone loss. Yep. Easily breakable bones. Easy fracture. Right. Yep. I got all the same stuff. Um, In fact, uh, um, reduced bone mass and strength in kids, specifically. Um, Obviously, osteoporosis is kind of an a later onset mm-hmm. and it's worse in women i guess but um calcium deficiency in kids can be a real big deal um i think uh you know it's kind of off topic and was not part of my research but i watched a um um a, a lady that was a um gosh what do you call it a refugee from mm-hmm. north korea and the the subject came up of why north koreans are so small and it's nutrition they don't get proper nutrition throughout their their life really that makes sense you know and it it attributes to i think she was like i can't remember her name pong moon sun or something like that and, um, i'm not making fun i that's i know, um, I, know. I just and uh but I, yeah i think she was like four eight and 96 pounds oh my gosh it, and fully westernized like she's now eating proper diet and that's how big she is um so anyways <laughs> we can't make it ourselves so where do we get it right dairy products um salmon sardines uh green leafy vegetables mm-hmm. legumes which i don't know why we have to use the word legume okay beans can i just say beans right nuts you know fish. I didn't get. I did get the fish. I didn't get nuts, mm-hmm. um, but um, that's good because I like I like to eat nuts. So um, on to kind of what the doctors have possibly gotten wrong. <sighs> Calcium as a supplement, like ninety nine percent of the supplements you can get are actually calcium carbonate. So what is calcium carbonate, you might ask? I'm leaning towards garbage. Uh, Actually, not necessarily garbage. Um, It's basically pulverized limestone. It's literally rock. 
You're eating rock. You're eating rock. You're supplementing with rock. So, you know, they figured out way back that most Americans were deficient in calcium and it was leading to osteoporosis and especially in women. They were like, you need to be on these calcium supplements, okay. right? Mainly calcium carbonate. Well, what is calcium carbonate? They're learning what it actually does inside the human body. The human body doesn't want it. It's not, you don't go out and eat rock. Right. Right. Um, it's not a natural food source. And what they're finding is it's leading to a whole host of cardiovascular issues, stroke, heart attack. Um, it's leading gallbladder stones, kidney stones, calcium carbonate, vascular ah. calcification. So what the doctors tell us, right, is cholesterol leads to plaque. What might be Wrong. happening is something else. Calcium. So, so like kidney stones, man, that makes a ton of sense. Right. So Somehow. we're eating rock. We're supplementing with rock. And then they look, you look at these, these things that come out and they're, they're calcium based. Yeah. <laughs> right. Yeah. So the scary one really, though, is the vascular calcification. Right, right. Um, yeah, that's that's basically the building of plaque within your arteries. Um, so calcium carbonate is typically in a supplement? Correct. Further, and you can, you can I, I went to PubMed, um, Google calcium deficiency on, not Google it, search it on PubMed, um, countless articles countless and PubMed allows you to take I think they were founded in the 1800s right and they allow you to take this little dial and I, I don't like to see the research from 100 years ago <laughs> I want to see the research in the, like the last five ten years okay right so I, I moved the little slider down so anything from 2015 to current and it was countless articles about exactly this that they're finding out that calcium carbonate is a killer and doctors to this day are still supplementing with it. Right. So, um, what are the healthy the, sources? Oh, oh, so that's what I was going to circle back to. What they are finding is while calcium carbonate may be proving to be extremely dangerous, you cannot overdose through dietary means. You cannot eat too much calcium rich foods. Okay. Now, Calcium fortified? Oh, I'm sure fortified's bad. Because how they fortify it? Calcium carbonate. I'm sure I did not research that. I don't know that, but that would be my guess. But there are other forms, right? Calcium citrate. There are... I don't know. That's outside okay. of my purview. Okay. But like I said, though, 99% of the supplements are based in calcium carbonate. So... Are there good forms you can get? Possibly. I, I don't know where you would get them. The, you know, uh, the research I did, they're not in supplements. The, the bad one is, you know. That's so interesting. <clears throat> so um, if you're on a calcium carbonate, I would probably at least do my own research. Mm -hmm. um, again, we're not doctors. We're just two fools down in Central Florida trying to figure it all out. Um, you know, I, I would definitely recommend trying to eat enough. I think the, the, the recommended daily allowance, um, I think they actually call it the recommended daily intake. The RDI mm -hmm. is, um, a thousand to 1300 milligrams a day. Um, you can reach toxicity. <clears throat> they estimated about 2,500 milligrams a day. So how much are you eating? How much are you supplementing? It is possible to force yourself into a state of toxicity, which can lead to nausea. And but you're vomit. not going to typically do that through whole foods. Um, correct. Correct. Your body synthesizes dietary calcium like it was designed to do. Bum, bum, bum. So interesting. You know, so. I mean, there are so many, like, like again, I think you, you, you caused me to start to think about 
some supplements that I'm taking. I mean, there is a calcium ascorbate, which is how it binds to vitamin C. And now, guess what I'm going to do? I'm going to go back and see if the type of calcium that that is, right. is that calcium carbonate? Because I certainly don't want to help myself to uh, an increased dose of vitamin C only to go have a kidney stone or vascular or calcification. Vas- <laughs> yeah, vascular calcification. That sounds horrible, doesn't right? it? Plaque. It's plaque. Right. I mean, it's the making of a heart attack or stroke. Yeah, I mean, that's the kind of blockage you don't. Yeah, you no don't boy, clean no. up with diet. No, I mean, and and the whole one of the whole purposes of vitamin C is to help to remove plaque and to remove some of these issues. So, like, it's like, man, you, you better do your homework. Two steps forward, one step backwards. Yeah. Uh, like I said, man, I went into this one thinking I was just going to read all the good things that calcium can do for you, you know, da 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 da. And while I did, um, that that element of the supplementations that we are taking is probably killing people. Gosh, you got and, it. And you like I said, got, you go to PubMed. Got, got to do your homework. Look up your own stuff. There, there, are, there are people out there that hate, take handfuls of vitamins every day with no... I mean, we, we were just talking about this with actual meds. One affects the other, affects the other. What are you taking in your supplements? Yeah. Like, What's that called? Like, heptic, where one medicine affects the other. It's, I don't remember. It was a crazy, like, me- but, heptic catabolization or something like that. Yeah. Catabolism. I mean, gosh, dude, do, do your homework, because... It's, and you know something we live dangerous. in a society now where where the, the information is there like that it's wonderful pubmed is an incredible resource um all of these random controlled trials and tests theories they're all in one spot they're all in one spot and um obviously if you if you read entire publications a lot of it's over my head you know i, I generally will you know, go to the the um, the abstract or the summary and kind of, you know, they, they tell you, like, this is what we think we found, you know, and this is the data we used. And um, the abstract is generally one paragraph and you can kind of get an idea of what you're talking about. Yeah, I know that like in some of them in, are really scientific. Yeah. And the book Lies My Doctor Told Me, you know, he said you got to be careful just reading the abstract because sometimes. You know, it's sponsored by Pfizer. Right. And the actual data doesn't. Pfizer bad. Okay. Yeah. So, (laughs) not picking on you, Pfizer. Yeah, we are. (laughs) Yeah, we are. So. I got no love for you. Yeah, man. Calcium. It's important. Eat it. But don't supplement it, in my opinion. Talk to your doctor. Play one on TV. All right. All right. Questions, comments, concerns, hit us at snackcast at yes.fit. Stay moving. See ya. See ya. See ya, Jerry. Have a great weekend.